Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Foliage. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So this is my uh, Skindapsis Pictus Exotica. This is one of the variety. You might have seen my other varieties as well. Uh, but before I show you this, let me show you how it looked couple of uh, probably years, probably a one year back. I'll put the image uh, or I'll put the video clip on the screen. You will be able to see because I had made a video when it only had couple of leaves on this pole. And now you can see it's doing quite well. Uh, it has grown quite a bit uh, over here. And this is an extended growth that is coming up, which is also doing quite well. And the leaves are looking fantastic. Uh, the silvers have become a little bit less, but uh, nevertheless, it looks absolutely beautiful. You can see the leaves are beautiful. The lower leaves, the older leaves have more uh, silver, but uh, the new growth does not have a lot of silver, but still it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the leaves are looking stunning and uh, it has grown very well on this pole uh, this was a coir pole now uh, to be honest initially i thought that the coir poles do not work very well because uh, you know a lot of times these are made out of moss uh, on moss it tends to work out really well but i was very surprised that uh, the skin dapsis has kind of uh, anchored itself on this uh, pole and it is doing quite well uh, you can see this white one is the roots so it's just basically pushing the roots inside uh, the coir pole and it is doing quite well i had a lot of doubts on coir pole but i think it tends to work out really well so coir poles are definitely doing the work what we wanted and i wanted to actually remove it but then i noticed that uh, it's kind of uh, infused into the pole so i do not want to disturb it it's doing quite well so why to disturb it so how I tend to water it, uh, now usually even while adding fertilizers, I use this bottle, uh, DIY bottle. I mix fertilizers in this with water, but right now I do not have fertilizers, just plain water. So whenever you have a pole like this, always uh, after you are done watering or first water the pole, what I would say that works out really well. So what I do is I water, I wet the complete pole first and then I again water the pot as well. But uh, what happens over here is when you tend to moisten the pole, uh, the roots are able to absorb water from the pole because uh, the other, the mother plant will be able to absorb water from the pot, but these will be taking up water from the pole. So it's always better that you can add fertilizers, liquid fertilizer with water and then just add it on the pole like this. and just wet the entire pole so this is how i have been doing and i think it is working out really well because i wet the entire pole uh, the excess water tends to go into the pot and uh, the entire pole is completely soaked with water and the roots that are attached on the pole uh, will be able to take the water from this coir pole because this coir is going to soak up the water for quite some time and it tends to work out really well uh, the coir takes a little bit of time initially the water will repel but uh, as and when but as and when the pole starts to get wet it tends to absorb that water initially the water will repel that is very normal uh, for a coir pole to repel water when it is dry but once it is completely wet it will start to soak up water very easily so in this way i go ahead and uh, water the entire pole and uh, once the pole is completely wet i then go ahead and add some water extra water in the pot when you're adding water to the pole itself, the pot will also get water, but this is an extra thing that you can do. And then the roots that are present on the pole will absorb and it will become even more stronger on the pole. So that tends to work out really well. So we are done with watering and uh, all the excess water has come out from the pot. Uh, it's always better to little bit wet the leaves as well, but ensure that you do not wet it every day. Uh, just whenever you feel that there is some dust on it, you can just give it a good wash. Uh, but whenever you're doing this, uh, you know, do not let it uh, come in contact with any direct sunlight. Any which ways we tend to keep this plant in indirect bright light only because they cannot handle direct sunlight. And then the leaves are going to be very shiny. But don't try to do this every day and do not keep this plant in direct sunlight. Otherwise, uh, the plant will get burnt. So you have to ensure that it's kept in indirect but bright light. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.